Hi guys! It's already October and malapit na naman ang F1 dito sa Abu Dhabi. So, currently, I'm wearing this Petronas shirt. See? I bought this last uh, 2016 or 2017. It's my souvenir for my first uh, F1 uh, na, na atenan ko. I hope makaten kami this year, but I'm not really, I'm not really sure. Actually, yung racing itself, it's a bit uh, boring, but yung after party kasi sober ang saya niya. It's four day event event here sa Mayas, but and yung uh, minsan yung lineup uh, lahat okay, minsan dalawa or tatlo lang. Kung pwede nang bumili ng ticket for after concert eh. Kaya lang, kailangan umatid ka rin ng ano. Yung babayaran mo, included na rin yung racing itself. Anyway guys, today I'm going to discuss how to get affirmation of marital status sa Philippines. So, itong affirmation of marital status, requirement siya sa mga British citizens na magpapakasal sa Pilipinas sa isang Filipina. So guys, if you're not yet familiar, it's very helpful if you will visit www.gov.uk so here so this uh, in this website marami kang matututunan malalaman about getting married and about uh, UK so here uh, meron silang page for marriage in the Philippines so as you can see here Explanatory notes to British nationals contemplating marriage in the Philippines. So, there's lang documents dito for marriage in the Philippines, checklist for marriage in the Philippines, affidavit of marital status which we need, and you can also have the affirmation of marital status, information note on recognition or validity of marriage. So, sa baba guys, makikita nyo yung appointment for affidavit or affirmation of marital status. So, click nyo lang yan. Then, lalabas dito yung appointment calendar. So, obviously, yung mga naka-gray, it's, uh, it's not, uh, available. So, you need to select, uh, like, for example, October 10. And may lalabas na available time for you to attend. From 9 a.m. to 11.15 a.m. So, let's try this one. The next, I... You need to... Put the date, the first name and last name of your husband, and of course, email address, phone number, reason for request, uh, it's part of a uh, Philippine marriage wedding requirement. Then you need to bring proof of identity, proof of address. And the documents of affidavits to swear or affirm. And just click continue. So guys, nung appointment nung fiancé ko noon, uh, sumama din ako sa kanya. Uh, malapit lang siya sa, ano, sa SM area, like 5 to 10 minutes. So nag-taxi na lang kami. Then yung taxi, hindi siya makapasok dun sa mismong loob. Binaba lang kami dun sa gate. Then, dun sa gate, super mahigpit. So, tatanggalin mo yung mga, yung relo mo and others. Then, ilalagay mo dun sa tray for x-ray. Then, uh, kakapkapan ka rin before ka pumasok. Then, after nun, yung mga iniwan mo na gamit, like yung glasses and uh, if may chewing gum ka sa busa or something. Iiwan din yun, then babalikan mo na lang siya pag mag exit ka na. Bali, yung, uh, yung pagpasok mo don right after, since nakaschedule ka, maaano ka talaga, ikaw na talaga yung aasikasuhin. Then, it will only take uh, 10 minutes inside, then makukuha mo na agad yung certificate mo. 
So, before you go sa loob, make sure na nafilapan mo yung iyong certificate. So, this is what it looks like sa uh, pag-blank before you print. Make sure you print it in A4. Ayan yung mafilapan mo. Then, hindi mo siya dapat pirmahan yet. Pipirmahan mo lang siya once na nag- uh, nag managswar ka na dun sa tapat nung sa may British Embassy. So, pag okay na, bali, ito na siya. May, ano siya, red. It, it's like notarized. And then, may pirma. And may name. So, guys, ba, ayan, pagkakuha mo right after. Magbabayad ka. And the payment cost around 50 uh, pounds. There's still a lot of questions here that I wanted to answer. Yung mga common questions. First question is that, is the affidavit enough? Do we need to get the certificate of no impediment? The answer is no. The affidavit uh, replaces the CNI. Upon issuance of the affidavit, you will be provided with letters and memos from the embassy and PSA. Explaining to your local civil affidavit has been replaced, the CNI, and is sufficient enough to, to prove that you have the legal capacity to marry. The affidavit of marital status is the British counterpart of the Philippine Senomar. Although, magpe-present ka nito, kailangan mo pa rin talaga ibigay yung Senomar sa church na kung saan kayo ikakasal. Next is, do we need to provide a certificate of freedom to marry? The answer is no. The affidavit is the only legal British document you need to prove that you have the freedom to marry. Affidavit of marital status is equal to CNI or certificate of freedom to marry or the CENUMAR. So that's it for today guys. I hope nakatulong ako kahit pa paano sa pag- uh, Aayos nyo ng inyong wedding documents. That's all for today. Thank you.